Hello, my tripod is swinging and like eek. Okay, what is going on here? And no, I will not be editing, editing this out because this is real life. And the one thing that I crave most in the world is authenticity. So that's why my videos are often messy, do not have the right lighting, but you know what? It is what it is. And I find it wonderful because authenticity is awesome. Okay, so why am I videoing today and rambling? I just had the most amazing 24-hour retreat and it was divine. And so I wanted to share a little tip and make this video and share with you guys how you can have a 24 hour retreat um, and why you need one. And I have coffee here because coffee, hello. With me sitting on my lap, you guys probably just saw, I have my composition notebook and my vision book. These two, I'm in this every morning and you've seen Cheek Sparrows on my channel and they have a purpose too, but every morning I start with my journal. And I get to reset it again because I got a telephone call on my phone and I film on my phone, for those of you who don't know. I have an iPhone. Um, so yes, okay, so a little backstory. I have realized something about myself, which is September and October, something happens in my body where I begin I don't know if it's the leaves changing or just the changing of season period, but it is the most difficult time out of the year for me. Not struggling, I know a lot of people like when things start to get dark and with winter, they start struggling with depression and mine isn't so much depression, although I do um, find myself being more sensitive and emotional during September and October, but come November, I'm, like on fire. I love ending one year. I love starting another year, but October is my worst, the worst month in listening to my body and, um, being intuitive with the changing of seasons and, and the year in general. So I was getting to this place where I needed a break. I needed something. I needed breath. I needed to retreat and that's where this came in. And it just happened that my husband was leaving for a weekend trip and there were gonna be children there. So guess what? He asked if I would be interested in having a night to myself. I, my oldest daughter still stayed. And um, so the first night was a girl's night with her and my sister-in-law. And then the second day I had a 24 hour retreat cause she went with a friend. So I have literally had 24 hours and it has been amazing. And so I wanted to just do a little, somewhat of a tutorial, somewhat of a, just a story uh, to share with you on how I went about planning because I didn't wanna just, even though there's 24 hours, time goes by so quickly, especially when it's pleasure time, you know, time where I'm by myself and I can I'm creating that playtime. It goes by really quickly. So what I did, <clears throat> like I said, this is my vision book and I have always been very inspired by Hannah Marcotti. She is the one who got me started on vision books and this one is the new one for the rest of the year. This is my, I guess, October, November, December vision book and it's called The Guide Wakes Up. The top part says introducing the new fragrance, the guide wakes up. So I do visioning in here and I decided that before, this was actually done before Kayla, my oldest, left for her girls night, uh, her overnight. And so I had a little bit of time to myself and I did a page all about what I wanted my 24 hour retreat to feel like. So this says, as I retreat, it did say, as she retreats, but then I decided, you know, there's power in saying I, there's power in the I am. 
and so I changed it. So that's why I crossed out she retreats and put I as I retreat. And yes, that's my messy handwriting. Um, and then I just flipped through a bunch of magazines and how I did this was <clears throat> I was flipping through and in my head, I kept saying as, well, I said, I, she retreats, but as I retreat, as I retreat, and I'm flipping and then I'll catch, I would catch a word or a phrase or an image and just rip it out. And then I'd go on as I retreat, as I retreat and just started tearing things out. So some of the things that I tore was, there's the word plan, create, connect, who says you can't have it all, brawless, read, and I put the date on there, how I found my purpose, find your power, and then fashion's breakout star. And this was the result, is the smiling, rejuvenated, blissful feeling woman. Okay, so this was how I planned my retreat. I just, I did a vision page on what I wanted in the next 24 hours. And then in my journal, I wrote, you have to excuse the coffee stain. <laughs> the, I put 24 hour, reset retreat as she retreats prompt and then i wrote all of those sayings that i cut out or tore out because i don't i don't like to cut i tear i wrote every one of those sayings so i wrote plan create connect brawless read fashion's breakout star find your power how i found my purpose and then the results and then i took it deeper and you can see i wrote things next to like what they meant to me so plan, I put vision. I wanted to do more visioning. Um, connect, I put, I wanted to pray and meditate and possibly do some yoga. Then braless, that's pretty explanatory. And yes, I did go braless for 24 hours. Um, read, pick a book and sit with it. Fashion's breakout star, I wanted to pare down my clothing. Find your power. And with that, I put to begin listening to my passion and blog ideas that I'm wanting to write and to write from passion. YouTube videos to talk about this 24 hour retreat, okay? Then how I found my purpose, I went into that and I put to spend time there on my purpose and what that looks like, my job title and uniform to professionalize mommyhood. And then under results, I put bliss. So then I wrote what I had going for that day. So at 7.30, which this is before my retreat, I had a chat with one of my best friends. Then I had uh, scheduled a coffee date, which turned into mimosas with another friend. And then my daughter was leaving at one o'clock. And so that is when my retreat started. So I put, I wanted to take a bath and do some reading and pondering time to do some creative visualization, which is planning. And then after that, after my bath, I wanted to work on paring down my clothing at three. I put that I wanted to um, spend some time thinking about YouTube and blogging and where I wanted to take that. Um, I did not, I'm embracing a, in regards to planning, I'm going with my passions. So I'm not planning out everything. I'm listening, I'm, I'm planning intuitively, I guess I can say, <clears throat> I should say. So then I put meditating and praying and then I wanted to go to bed early and that is how I planned my 24 hour retreat with words from magazines asking what I needed. And you know what? It was exactly what I needed. Like I could not have come up with the words better than that visioning prompt. So I, number one, want to encourage you to plan a 24 hour retreat and ask what you need and it will come out. What you need will be shown to you, even in magazines. I mean, and this was just one magazine. This was one magazine that all of this came out with. I believe it was Glamour. So, and then I just took everything and asked, what does it mean? What does is, what is finding my power mean? Why did I cut that out? And then, and it has been my best 24 hour retreat yet. So let me know if you decide to have one. Let me know what your creative processes are when you are feeling low and in need of some magic. 
And like I said, I am back to blogging. So you can check out heathermattern.com and find more of my ramblings there. I just posted something about October and I did not go into all the details on why October is difficult, but I did do a little poem there about how I'm wanting to end October basically, like all the wishes that I am making for my October. And I feel magical. I feel rested and ready to do this thing. All right. Talk to you guys later.